birthday ladies, what's your name? I'm Monique. And you are? I'm Shashi. Is this the first time you've been at the uh, Coconut Festival? Yeah. Yes. Really? So what are you guys, uh, ladies, eating here? Chocolate. Chocolate chimba. <laughs> Chocolate. What kind is yeah. that? This is chili the uh, chili chamba. Chili chamba. Chili, where, which yeah. are the chili this chamba? This is the one right here. Chili chamba. Mm -hmm. Now you got a whole tray of chocolate. Why did you pick that particular one? Oh, I tell you, I love spicy chocolate with chili. And this was just the right price. $2. Wow. <laughs> Very nice. Yeah, and I yourself, like. what are you eating? I am eating the same thing. Why the same? Because we are friends. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta follow your friends and she's paying yeah. for it, right? So. Yeah, I like chili. <laughs> And right. I like everything hot. Yeah. And this is very, it's not very hot. It's just a hint of, you know, just a hint of chili and chocolate. So it comes together. Oh, nice. Okay. Very nice. Thank you so much. Enjoy the festival. Thank you. So now Thank we're going to go so to much. the uh, woman that's here. Hi, what's your Hi, name? Hi, my name is Natasha Romero Magiano. Okay, so <laughs> let's start with, you know, life is short, eat dessert first. Okay? <laughs> That's right. And obviously you've got a nice tray full of uh, chocolate goodies here. Tell me about your story. What is it exactly that you actually carved a niche in? So basically, uh, Miss Bailey Brown Chocolate started when um, I had a, a couple of babies and I was home and I couldn't sit still, so I had some friends over, and we had a Chocoholics Anonymous party. And um, they just Say that again. Chocolate. Chocoholics Chocolate. Anonymous party, and uh, they basically just started uh, ordering for Christmas. And then I put it out there on social media, and I got orders all over Toronto. So just and the rest is history. So we're two years old, but we're everywhere, and I'm just fully enjoying um, creating all these flavors. You're going to be in my stomach soon. You know? yeah. <laughs> so give me the tour here, Natasha. What do you got here? Absolutely. The almond Crunch. Want to yep. start with that? Sure. You just go through here. So just point to it. Yeah. So, so Almond Crunch um, is one of our classic uh, chocolates that we keep in all of our, in our collections at all times. Um, some of them are seasonal. So we use 70% uh, dark chocolate for all of our shells. And um, Almond Crunch is great because it's good for uh, gluten-free and vegan um, uh, chocolate lovers as well. Okay, come on mm -hmm. over here. Sure. Back. Yeah, okay. And your next one is Cherry Cranberry Coconut, coconut Crunch. Crunch, my middle yes. name. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, so this one, um, I actually was doing a chocolate workshop with Girls Inc. of Halton, and I created that flavor for them on the spot, and they absolutely loved it. It was, uh, it really hit the spot. Wow. Mm -hmm. Okay. Toasted Coconut Love. Toasted Coconut Love is also a classic from the beginning, and it is um, a delicious combination of, to of co organic to coconut flakes, toasted coconut, and um, coconut inside as well, It's and it's all dark chocolate. I'm getting hungry. I'm, I think I'm ready for my coconut break. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Pina Chocolata. Pina Chocolata was part of our uh, Party Like a Pineapple um, theme in July. And it's basically um, a pina colada with the uh, dark chocolate shell. Wow, okay. Second layer. Yes. Okay. So dark silky. We have, we have dark silk. It's just at the back there, and um, I'll just take it out quickly. We have our dark silk, and this is important um, as a base because it is a very silky, smooth. Um, uh, example of what the, our 70% dark chocolate tastes like. Um, so it's a safe one and it's actually accents the classic chocolate truffle with the uh, cocoa powder. And this is our mint condition. So we have a creme de mint. So it's not a powerful mint, um, but it's a very, a nice creamy mint with a cacao nib crunch so that um, someone who can't have nuts can have a crunch as well. Okay, thanks. Uh, Mai Tai Seashell. Yes, the Mai Tai Seashell is part of our summer collection as well, where you have the, the Mai Tai cocktail. So it's a very tropical and um, mango papaya type of flavor. Okay. Mm. Chili 
chamba. Yes, chili chamba is one of our classics as well. I got chef approved at the uh, the Canadian uh, Chef Convention last year. Chef approved? What is that? Okay, which convention? Let's hold the back track. The uh, what was it called? Um, the Canadian. Uh, culinary Foundation um, chef convention last year uh, or not last year the year before and basically I had a product showcase there and a few chefs um, really loved the chili chamba because they loved what happened in their mouth with the heat just not hitting you right away but it appeared and then disappeared really with a nice finish and you got an award or something or just no no I just, just chef approved. Chef approved. I just got a thumbs up and that's, that's pretty good that's yeah pretty from good. a chef's palate that's important, Very important. <laughs> from a, coming from a chef you bet absolutely yeah. right. <laughs> lemon coconut lemon coconut this is the first time I'm actually putting it into a dark chocolate shell because I usually um, have it in a ball so that it's just all lemon and coconutty but this time I, I put it in a really nice uh, have a dark chocolate accent to it Okay. Yeah. Chocolate. Speaking of chocolate, actually, get a chocolate chai. Yes, chocolate chai. Um, the those butterflies. Um, they have a, a beautiful chocolate chai inside. It's a chai tea latte, and it's one of our staple flavors as well. Um, I usually have that out for tastings because someone might not understand what the the chai tea flavor is going to taste like, and it's a really uh, sweet and smooth, more than a, a, a bite to it. So, so where it's is really it out nice. for tasting? Did I miss something? Uh, maybe later. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, bubble gum. Bubble gum's bubble gum. So you got to do it. <laughs> Just do it. Okay, good for children, I guess. That's yeah, exactly. Part. Okay, that's oh, exactly what's there. Ones here. Yes. So those are our bee bops. Um, there are energy bites. They have dates, chia seed, hemp seed, flax seed, uh, oatmeal, and um, the dark chocolate chunks as a base. And then it splits up into flavors. So we have coconut, papaya, pineapple, almond with protein, orange cranberry, and the classic peanut butter energy bite. Well. If okay. you're hungry, come here. Well, I'm not union. Uh, otherwise, if I was union, I'd be on my coconut break. Right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, caramel coffee. Caramel coffee is, it's actually uh, three quarters full of uh, coffee ganache. And there's a layer of dulce de leche on top with a um, chocolate, uh, sorry, a coffee flavored coffee be chocolate bean. On top, does that make sense? Yes, yeah. said it right. <laughs> and um, th that's a, a really nice, um, really, really nice flavor. For the jelly coffee. If you like coffee, yeah. I was gonna yeah. say with coffee, but no, just oh. have it on its own. Oh. Okay. <laughs> well, but those that like coffee can put off the like Absolutely. This. Yeah. Pistachio praline. Praline, yes. Praline. This I love because um, the pistachio looks the same by itself. But this one has a praline type, a uh, little bit of a caramelly, nutty um, flavor added to it, and it's it's highly addictive. Like all the other ones. Yeah. <laughs> Especially when you go in a coconut break. Okay. Okay. Peanut butter boss. Peanut butter boss is honestly the boss. Um, I get in trouble when I don't have this supplied at the cafe that we in in Milton. Um, this is yeah, peanut butter, 70% so dark chocolate, and the dulce de leche. Wow, okay. Mm. How many got here butters, total? It's uh, a grouping of islands in the South Pacific, which includes Samoa, Fiji, right? uh, the, There's 15 uh, chocolate truffles, and there's four flavors of our uh, Bee Bops, Energy Bites. We have our chocolate bars I, here. I would take one of each. Oh, one yeah. of each. Yeah, no problem. Break, right? yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Okay. Here. Uh, I'll hook uh, you up. Vanessa? Natasha. Natasha, here we go. So tell me about what you got going on. You got your own, you have your own line of chocolate bars? Yes, yeah, so these are craft um, artisan chocolate bars. And they're all handmade. And we... Um, <laughs> We basically have a jazz theme for our, our business, and so I'm, uh, my whole family is uh, really musically inclined, and I love jazz and the depth of jazz. With the same thing with food and and wines and things like that, you can really just get into um, uh, the depth of of how alive these uh, flavors are with chocolate and wine and um, and so on. So we have yes. 
So our jazz bar. before the music starts. Go okay. Ahead. So the the jazz bar, uh, Latin jazz. We have coconut, papaya, and pineapple. And this jazz bar has almond and cranberry. So our jazz bars are solid with toppings, and the harmony bars are actually filled with um, a filling. So we have the coconut macaroon and the, the same creme de menthe as our chocolate chocolate. Good. Now, there's, there's, a, there's a saying, behind every successful woman is a substantial amount of chocolate. How cool is that? Absolutely. So my aunt from Arizona, she bought me this book and mailed it to me. And it's absolutely perfect. <laughs> oh, thank you. I brought it yourself. No, well, this is from Susie Toronto, and she has some really great advice. <laughs> All right. So, for more information, your contact. Yes, so we are Miss Bailey Brown Chocolate. We are in Milton, and you can go to MissBaileyBrownChocolate.com for more information. We deliver, uh, you can pick up, we do weddings, um, party yeah, favors, and um, sorry. catering. And for chocoholics, we have gift boxes too. <laughs> cool. Thank you so much. Brian's Thank you. Awesome. Can I get a round of applause for